and thank you for joining Ursula Walker today. This is Blossom and Bloom with Ursula Walker. Today is Sunday, October 8th. Welcome to October. So happy to have you. Today, I am joined by a phenomenal woman who I am so happy decided to join me today, this month of October. And we're diving deep talking about things that matter to us women. So today I have my amazing and dear friend, Lizette Santa Maria here. She is with Discover Your Power. Welcome Lizette. Thank you so, so much. So happy to have you. Thanks for being here. I'm just gonna let Lizette open us up, okay? She's gonna talk to us a little bit about who is Lizette Santa Maria? What is Discover Your Power? And she's just gonna give us a little background on who she is before we dive on in. Thank Lizette, you so much. You're welcome. I am honored to be here with you guys today. So a little bit about me. Mm -hmm. On social media, I am the Lupus Coach. Yes, you know. And I am the founder and owner of my coaching practice, Discover Your Power. Yes. And I take a holistic approach to help my clients when it comes to overall health, well-being, healing, and also finding and living a purposeful life. Nice. And so on top of being someone um, that is a business owner, um, a little background about me. I'm a national board certified health and wellness coach. Nice. I'm also an intuitive healer. So I practice energy medicine to do energy healing for my clients. Mm -hmm. That really helps them to not only create awareness with their higher self, but I help my clients from a holistic mind, body, soul perspective mm -hmm. to help them create that awareness of any trauma that they could be holding or storing in their body mm -hmm. and really identify what obstacles are standing in their way of being their true authentic self and reaching their full potential in the world. Mm. Um, on top of that, through energy healing, which is truly amazing, is it's understanding the mind body connection. Mm -hmm. And so I educate my clients on the fact that if we have emotional trauma, that could be causing physical trauma in their bodies. Mm. And that is where your body really is talking to you through symptoms, through pain, through imbalances with your organs. And so I help my clients through energy healing identify what needs to be released so they can have that overall balance with their energy, their organ function, um, and just overall well-being. And so I do that as an intuitive energy healer. And I also offer coaching to help my clients identify their purpose in life mm -hmm. so they can discover their God-given talents and their true potential. All of that, you know, when it comes to your health and well-being, balancing your energy, living a life of purpose, overcoming so you can heal and feel whole, that is all a part of the holistic aspect that I focus on with my mm -hmm. clients when it comes to coaching and the energy healing. And on top of that, I'm really passionate about moving your body mm -hmm. and wellness through movement. So I'm a registered yoga teacher and certified personal trainer. So wow. I guide my clients um, through meditation, intentional breathing, moving their body through yoga. And um, yeah, that's what I do. And I will say just a little bit further so you can understand the why I mm -hmm. got here and I'm so passionate about it is yes. because Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I have gone through my own journey to heal and improve my health dealing with a chronic autoimmune illness called lupus. And so my journey with lupus started when I was diagnosed in 2006 and it really brought me to a place where I was unwell. Um, mm -hmm. mentally, physically, emotionally. And, you know, the crazy thing is, is that when we have an illness, we are automatically treated for our symptoms and we're given medications. Here's a medication for this symptom, this symptom, this symptom, but it doesn't really look at the root cause of the illness. And after about 10 years of being on medication and still experiencing all the symptoms of fatigue, hair loss, joint pain, um, extreme inflammation, even, you know, we've talked about sure. having a stroke in yep. 2009. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the medications, what happens is your body just becomes dependent on the medications. And mm. it's just this cycle of never really healing, just managing, um, and sometimes not even. And so what I did was 
I really tuned in and listened to my body because your body will talk to you mm -hmm. and, and tell you. And um, I knew that I needed a different approach to really empower myself to heal. Mm -hmm. Your body has the ability to heal. And so I started doing my own research, lots and lots of research. research. Right. Um, and that's when I found holistic well-being, holistic medicine, healthy lifestyles. And really, it was like, why has no one talked to me about this? Like, why isn't this talked about? And, and that's when I had, it's kind of like the light bulb went off. Our medical industry um, is necessary. You know, we need the medications. However, they don't talk to you about treating that root cause. Mm -hmm. And so the holistic approach does that. And really, it teaches you how to have overall healing and health on a consistent basis so you can eventually heal your body because it's possible. Wow. And so all of that led me to adopt a holistic lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, it led me on a spiritual journey. Mm -hmm. And now I, um, in addition to coaching and doing the energy healing and teaching yoga, I'm going to school for my PhD. That's studying right. holistic and integrative medicine. I attend um, Saybrook University. And in that program, I'm learning all about um, holistic medicine, which helps to treat people and support them, mind, body, and soul. And my focus um, particularly is with autoimmune illness and health mm -hmm. management. Mm -hmm. So that is what I'm doing now. So I can just like really share this information with everybody who, who should know and needs sure. it. Sure. Excellent. Thank you so much. What a <laughs> opener. Thank That's you. That's so amazing. I have so many questions okay. in my mind. I'm yes. like, where do I begin? <laughs> but I do have a couple of questions. I want to take a step back. Okay. Uh, I love where you went with where you are now, the yes. reasons why. Um, I love how you talk about modern medicine and how it aligns with that holistic approach, which I want to dive a little bit more into in just a little bit. But you didn't start here. You grew into this place. It was a journey. Where, where was your original career? What was your original career? Okay, so I actually um, studied radio and television at UCF. And um, that was focused in communications, which is something that I was passionate about at the time. Mm -hmm. But I will say that my younger self was not fully in tune and aligned with who I am today, who God created me to be. Mm -hmm. And so I chose that career because it was an interest of mine. But then I really realized like I want to help people. And I didn't know the how. I didn't know how I wanted to help people. So I said, okay, human resources, this is what I'm gonna do. This is a reputable job, it pays well, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna get my master's in human resources. So that's what I did. And my, my whole goal was to become an HR director. And I did that. I climbed the corporate ladder, became an HR director. And along the way, and this is why I call it a journey, because mm -hmm. it doesn't happen overnight. But God started to speak to me and really show me basically like, like a whisper, just a knowing of this is not what you are meant to do. I have different plans for you. I have bigger plans for you. And when God gives you that clarity, it is, it's really the start of your spiritual awakening. I've always been a believer in God, always went to church. And, you know, the difference is um, having that connection and that relationship with God mm -hmm. and really tuning in. And God was talking to me um, intuitively. Um, he was showing me signs through the universe. I always say that the I look at the universe as God's playground mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and God, you know, God created all. Sure. And absolutely. so God will talk to you through the universe and send you signs and show you synchronicities. Mm -hmm. And the more that I started to see it, it just became so undeniable. Once you hear your truth, there's no turning back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and right. so I started to look at life differently. I started to really tune into myself. And, and I, I remember getting on my knees and praying to God, what do you want me to do? Please show me, give me clarity, give me direction. 
and I will listen and I will be obedient and I will follow. Mm. And let me tell you, he showed me. And once he showed me, I just knew everything in me that, and it's funny, I always knew that I was going to work on my own and have my own business. I just didn't know how or when. Or what? Or, right. Mm -hmm. And so when God told me, I, I knew that I was meant to be a coach. I knew that I was meant to help others in a healing capacity. And God really helped me to develop my healing abilities um, with the intuitive energy healing. Mm -hmm. And um, and that is what I do. I I follow his direction. And I will truly say this. When you find alignment and you step into your purpose, God will support you because he gave you the talents, the tools, the abilities to show up in the world that way. And that is how we live in our purpose and mm -hmm. have that connection with the world and give back to the world. And so I feel truly blessed. God has supported me every step of the way on this journey towards purpose, health, and healing. Oh, I'm just <laughs> sitting here like in awe looking at you. Just talk about this. You said a lot about the journey and finding your purpose yes. and even asking, what is it I'm supposed to be doing? A lot of people don't, I hear a lot. A lot of people don't know why they're here or yeah. what their purpose is. So um, you made some pretty important points asking what what am i ask and god will provide he absolutely. will show you yes absolutely right and so you opened up with you have your very own you work for yourself yes you're an entrepreneur yes and you your the name of your business is discover your power yes talk to us about discover <laughs> your power the name what does it mean to you how did you come up with the name? And then talk to us a little bit about Discover Your 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 Power, your clients. What does that look like working one-on-one? -on -one oh, with that's a really Lizette. good question. Okay, so a lot of coaches um, have their brand and they brand themselves under their own name. I really did a lot of soul searching because I'm like, okay, God, if you want me to do this, um, how? You know, like, please make it clear to me. And um, God revealed to me that it was all about empowering people, empowering mm -hmm. people to heal, empowering people to um, live their best life, empowering people to go on the path of self-discovery and, mm -hmm. and find their purpose and grow spiritually, um, empower themselves when it comes to, to overall healing and being in alignment with their true authentic self. And so to me, um, discover your power just it resonated with me it resonated with me and i prayed i was like god are you sure are you sure and god it was so clear and so that's where the name discover your power came from mm -hmm. just as a reminder that we all have the power within yes we all do and so um yeah that's where that came from um and how long have you been an entrepreneur with discover your power I found the Discover Your Power in 2016, mm -hmm. and I actually took the leap of faith to leave my corporate job in 2017, and I've been doing this ever since. Yeah. Tell me about 2017 until 2023. As an entrepreneur walking away from your job, I believe <laughs> this is my purpose. Yes. I'm going to step out on faith. I'm going to take this leap. Yes. Tell me about that entrepreneurial journey. From now, from then until now, what has that been like? Well, it has been a faithful journey. I'm glad that you said that, step out on faith. You know, I will say one of the most courageous things is not knowing the when, not knowing the how, but just being obedient to God and following and being faithful. Mm. And so when I decided to quit my corporate job, um, I... I didn't do it right away. Like it, 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 all of this has been a part of the journey. Right. So, um, in that journey, it was just preparing myself to take that leap. And I actually set a timeline for myself of when I was going to quit. And mm -hmm. I quit six months before the timeline because God just showed, he said, it's time. And I literally felt like his hands were on my shoulders. I felt so much calmness and peace in resigning. 
And everybody was like, was that, how are you going to make money? What are you going to do? And I said, I'm going to coach. Um, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going to coach and just with calmness. And, and that is when you know that you're in alignment, you have peace and you have calmness. Mm. And so that journey has really taken a lot of self-awareness, um, a lot of having faithfulness mm-hmm. and not being afraid of showing up in the world as I, as truly, as authentically, as purposefully in alignment with who God created me to be. Um, and I say that because when I first started my coaching practice, I knew that I wanted to help people with lupus. Yes. And I said, I was even, I even Googled like, is there such thing as a lupus coach? <laughs> like, and I'm like, I'm going to make this a thing because I wish that I would have had someone to coach and help me when I was first diagnosed with lupus. That's and right. so, you know, it's, it takes a lot of um, just being true to yourself of creating your own path. Absolutely. And nothing against anyone that is, is following a path that they've seen or been inspired by. But regardless, if you are following a path that has already been created, I truly, truly want to encourage you to really try to make your path as authentic as possible. Um, because God creates us all so unique and special mm-hmm. and we all have talents and gifts. And mm-hmm. a lot of times people don't really tap into what those gifts are. And so for me, really tapping into the fact that I'm going to create this whole new arena for myself of being a lupus coach, um, which at the time, a lot of people didn't even really know what lupus is. Thank God people know more about it now. Right. Um, but then also coming from growing up completely Catholic to I have this spiritual connection with God where I, I grow my relationship with God directly. I talk to to directly mm-hmm. to God. He talks to me mm-hmm. and God revealing to me that I am a healer and I am intuitive and I do have these abilities and these abilities are not self-serving. They are all to help other people heal in this world. And, and saying that to people, it doesn't always resonate with Mm -hmm. them. Right. And it may come off as weird or like that's against God, but I truly know that this is a gift that God has given me absolutely to give back to the world. And so being able to really be true to myself, be authentic as possible and say without any kind of second thought, this is who I am. Mm -hmm. That definitely um, is a journey Mm -hmm. towards self-discovery and um, having faith. Right. I I hear you standing in your truth when you say that. I feel like extremely confident you're standing in the truth of what your purpose is no matter how people look at you they talk how are you going to pay bills you're going to coach i can only imagine some of the backlash you oh, probably got you have yeah from that absolutely um, <laughs> but even with that backlash i see you standing tall in your calling and i can hear your passion about really wanting to help people find that purpose. And like you mentioned before, it's something already there. It's it just really helping people um, grow up in their purpose, if yeah, you will. That's a good way um, to say A lot it. of people know or have some sort of inkling, oh, I'm passionate about this and things like that. But how do you really work people around? You're the coach. Mm-hmm. So it's really guiding them along and helping them with that self-discovery. Yes. Uh, what does it look like as a coach when one of your clients find their purpose? Oh my God. It is the most, it's, I call it like the aha moment where the light bulb goes out or goes Goes on, goes on. (laughs) And it is, it's just, it's so enlightening for my clients. It, it brings them joy, excitement, passion Mm -hmm. that they may be lacking Mm -hmm. in their life. And it does the same for me. Um, yeah. It's just a win-win situation just to know that I'm helping someone um, really find their purpose, which is going to enhance their talents and, the, and their abilities that they may not have been tapping into. Wow. Um, it's going to create alignment within their mind, body, and soul as far as their health, their well-being. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How many people go to work and they hate what they do and they dread it all that dread and anxiety and despair and you know depression 
lives inside you and to feed that every day is not healthy. And so mm. being aligned or, or having some sense of purpose, mm -hmm. whether it you're being paid for to show up and do that purpose, or it is something that you do in addition to your work, having purpose is for your overall health and well-being. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's, it's really the best process. Yeah. Um, and I'll, I'll just say this, not only helping my clients find purpose, but helping my clients heal through energy healing has been so transformational, such a blessing. When I see my clients have this awareness of, wow, this traumatic situation that I went through at the age of 12 mm -hmm. is holding me back from who I want to be today, or this is triggering me as an adult and having them understand where that blockage is coming from is truly amazing. Or even when I'm able to identify an imbalance in their body mm. um, and release it, I my clients tell me immediately like, that pain that I had in my shoulders is gone. And it was from like something that they had gone through emotionally wow. and so have seen my clients and hearing them express their relief and their gratitude and helping them understand the mind body connection mm -hmm. and really tuning into themselves mm -hmm. it gives them the tools so they can manage their emotions manage their pain manage their imbalances for the future and excellent that is work. it's such a gift it really is well i want to talk a little bit more about this gift okay so <laughs> i i love what you're saying about energy healing yes so i want you to spend a little time talking about energy healing how does energy healing align or lock up against some of our more modern practices cognitive behavioral therapy mm -hmm. right great tool mm -hmm. it's one of many in a toolkit mm -hmm. but it's very different from energy healing so just kind of give the audience and some of our viewers a little bit about what energy healing is yeah how is that different from what you do with talk therapy okay um, I know um, and have done some energy healing work and know that it requires you know participatory of the client they have to be involved in that so just speak a little bit about that energy healing and what some of the things you do that you found beneficial for some of your clients i love this question thank Good. you for asking you're welcome so i am an energy medicine practitioner and okay. energy medicine is basically the understanding of knowing that everything in this world everything in this universe has its own source of energy, which is also known as chi. And so from the plants, the trees, the moon, the stars, even you, even every single one of your organ systems has its own source of energy. Mm -hmm. And we can feel energy around us, but you may not be in tune with it. And so even this is an energetic exchange. Mm -hmm. Same thing like when you have um, sexual intercourse with someone, that is an energetic exchange. Um, being kind to someone, arguing with someone, those are all energetic exchanges. We even have energetic exchanges in our thoughts and our self-talk. And so understanding what you are doing to yourself um, with your energy is key to managing your energy and it's also important to understand that since we're a, we are constantly around you know surrounded by energy having energetic exchanges that we are constantly giving out energy and we are constantly absorbing it and so being aware of your environment who you surround yourself with the things that you do on a daily basis this is all education and guidance that i provide to my clients now that they have the understanding of the importance of energy medicine, I talk to them about how it can impact them from a healing aspect and then also from a health and wellness aspect. So healing, we talked about it a little bit, is you know identifying um, past trauma, um, emotional trauma that you could be storing in your body that's affecting you physically. Mm -hmm. So that emotional aspect can also affect the physical aspect that's the mind body connection and a lot of times we don't realize like the trauma that i went through at the age of five is still affecting me today um, and so 
or even if it's something present that you've gone through, like I just had this really bad argument with my coworker, you could be holding that inside and wondering why you are feeling anxious. And so what I do as an intuitive energy healer is I am able to really tap into my client's energy. Um, I feel people's energy. I've always been able mm -hmm. to feel people's energy. Mm -hmm. And so I tap into your energy and that is when I'm able to identify what you are suppressing. Suppressing is just another form of like basically having emotional baggage. I'm sure that's a popular term. Mm -hmm. That's how I describe it to my clients. And so when you are aware of the emotional baggage that you're holding through suppressed emotions, that is when the healing happens. So that is when I'm able to create that awareness for my client, articulate what they are suppressing and then we have the release wow yes and so then my clients have an understanding of what it feels like in their body to have that connection with mind body and soul mm -hmm. to know what it feels like when you feel unbalanced and then also to know what it feels like when you have that release and mm -hmm. that healing. Mm -hmm. And so the tools that I provide them are education and understanding on energy medicine. I'm one of those people like I'm not going to adopt a, a lifestyle unless I understand it. And For so sure. I educating my clients is key. So educating them on that process and then showing them tools or guiding them on things that they can incorporate to have those healthy behaviors mm -hmm. going forward mm -hmm. instead of shutting it down and suppressing. Absolutely. Which is what so many people do. And that's depression. And that's depression, that's anxiety, mm -hmm. that's mental illness. So it's, it's really amazing to incorporate energy medicine and that understanding into my practice. Mm -hmm. and, and it's a gift that God has given me. So to be able to heal my clients that way is I love <laughs> that you said about it's God's gift to me, this energy healing, this energy medicine. How do you debunk the Christians that talk about, well, I love God, but energy, I don't know. You know, uh, I was raised traditional Christian Baptist and growing up those mm -hmm. words the universe energy were like taboo mm -hmm. you believe in God mm -hmm. right so I think over time um, um, especially for me being uh, in school uh, going to school for clinical psychology mm -hmm. you're learning about all these things and then you you do them and they actually work Mm -hmm. How do you help people get an understanding about God can still work in your therapeutic sessions, in your therapy, using energy or intuitive medicine to help you heal? Absolutely. Yeah. That is such a good question. I will say this, and this is going back to being my true authentic self, is I know that I have the strongest faith and belief in God. Mm -hmm. And... The good thing about coaching or seeking help through therapy or any other aspect is you have so many people that you can choose from. And so that alignment is key when you are choosing someone outside of your family and your friends, a professional to help you. And so I never skip on the fact of telling my clients who I am because that's the foundation of a good coaching relationship is to have that trust, mm -hmm. um, you know, have that reciprocal um, energetic exchange mm -hmm. so they feel comfortable and know that this is a safe space with Lizette. And so I share my beliefs right up front with my clients that I believe in God. Um, I let before every energy healing session, I um, ask my clients if I can start with prayer. And I also ask my clients to set an intention for what they would like to see happen, what their goal is from the energy healing. And I bring their intention into the prayer. I ask that God's presence be there. Mm -hmm. um, because again, this is not self-serving. This is what does God want to reveal to you so you can be the person you should be. That's right. And so being transparent, being authentic, and and just educating people like just like i said i truly believe that the the universe is god's playground god created all absolutely. of this absolutely and so energy is is just something that is a part of energy is life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And I think that people shy away from that because they don't understand. They're not truly tapped into their higher self. True. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, before we wrap up, I'm going to give uh, Lizette a moment to talk a little bit about some of um, some special projects she has coming up and how you can connect with her. But before we close, one last couple of questions I got. Okay. Um, what are some of the things that you have discovered that affect women? Mm. What are some of women's biggest uh, gripes this mm -hmm. day and age when it comes to that relationship, mm -hmm. um, that coaching relationship, what is plaguing women today the most? And then what are some tips you can offer to help them turn that around? Yes. I truly believe that women are the heart and the soul of this earth. Mm -hmm. I agree. Women power. hundred percent. <laughs> <laughs> we are nurturers. We give from our, our whole being to create life. And so we are the hearts and souls of our communities, our families, our friendships. And with that being said, one of the, the biggest obstacles that I see with women is that they give from all that they have. Mm -hmm. And when you give from all that you have and you don't replenish, you become depleted. Your cup will not be full. And so my question is, when I see this, how can you give your all without giving to yourself? And so when women are able to overcome that obstacle and replenish their energy, pour into their cup, through prioritizing themselves, through self-care, then that's when they can fully give to the world, give sure. to others. And so women prioritizing themselves, their, their well-being, their health, their healing, it's necessary. Just like they say on the airplane, what you put your oxygen, oxygen mask, mask on first. first. <laughs> yeah. And For then sure. you help. It's kind of backwards to some people, but it's like, no, that makes sense. In order for me to fully give at the way that I want to, as much as I want to, I have to give to myself first. And that's not selfish. That is self-care. Absolutely. You make such a great point um, about that. Earlier, you mentioned something that keeps coming back. So I'm going to honor the thought that keeps returning. Okay, yes. Um, you spoke a lot about or something about peace and calmness mm. and how very important that is. And I don't know if you've heard this new cliche term, the soft era. Mm. Are you living your soft life. Mm -hmm. And I did some research as well. What mm -hmm. is this soft life people are talking about? Um, and it's not a life without trouble or a life that excludes you from tribulation. It isn't that. But ultimately what I discovered, it really is about a life free, free of stress mm -hmm. and drama and tension mm -hmm. and agitation. Mm -hmm. It is more of a life of peace and calm. How would you share with our lady viewers of how or what are some tips that we can do for protecting our peace yes. and inviting in more calmness? How can we do that? You have to create it. You have to prioritize it. Um, it goes back to really tuning in to how you are showing up mentally, emotionally, physically, getting in tune, creating that awareness because again, your body will talk to you when it is out of whack, mm -hmm. when it's unbalanced. And your body will show you through symptoms, through whether it's through your skin, whether it's through um, having um, gut health issues, mm -hmm. whether it is through high blood pressure, stress, anxiety, your body will talk to you. And mm -hmm. it's up to you to listen and really tune it into what your body needs. And then once you have that understanding, it's like, well, how do I build this into my daily practice? Daily practice, just like you need to eat every day, you need to breathe throughout the day, you need to do certain things just to live, pouring into yourself and having activities, having behaviors, being intentional every single day mm. is how you maintain that homeostasis, that balance. And a lot of people don't take the time to prioritize what they need. Yeah. 
but you prioritize everything else. And so that is something that I've incorporated into my, my daily, um, my daily practice as an individual, as a woman, as a professional. And, um, so I can better, you know, show up as mm -hmm. my best self and also have everything that I need to fully give to my clients. That's right. Remember, everything is an energetic exchange. And when you're constantly giving out, but you are not pouring into yourself, then that is where we have the stress. That's where we're not well. Even being aware of um, your environment, like with your conversations, what you take in as far as your work, social media, misunderstandings, those are all things that you can set healthy boundaries with. Healthy boundaries is key. And that could be as simple as saying no. That could be as simple as saying, you know what, I, I hear you, but let's do this instead. Mm -hmm. This would be better for me. Or just, you know, articulating things that you are okay with and things that you're not okay with. Finding your voice and prioritizing your wants and needs. Every single day. Every single day. <laughs> yeah. Every single day. It's yes, a practice. It is a practice. I keep, I'm, I'm really honing in on the language that you're using and the verbiage you're putting to really actions we need to take, which is practicing. You're, it's not something that you're going to do the first time and be like, okay, no, this is it. I found it. The key it. word is journey. And as a coach, that's what we do is we lead people, not just set a goal, but how are you going to get there? How can we support you in implementing it? So yes, a journey and it's practice. Journey and a practice. Every you day. guys heard it from our <laughs> SME today, our subject matter expert on energy, intuitive medicine. Um, she owns her own coaching business, um, Discover Your Power, but I can, you know, parse my way through that. We're going to let Lizeth tell you Honestly, guys, I'm sitting here when she's talking about this energy exchange. I can feel it. I don't know if you all know this, but your energy field is about three feet in front of you. Just stick your hand out. And to Kate, yes. Yes. <laughs> this is, it's all around yeah, you. It's, it's surrounding really you. It Absolutely. Is. So I, what I wish you guys can feel what I'm feeling here with this energetic exchange that we're having today. It's been so amazing, my oh, friend. Oh, I feel Thank it you too. So Thank much. you always with you. Thank always. you for, for being here. But I'm going to let you talk to our audience. Okay. Just wrap up talking about who you are. Um, I want Lizeth to share some fun facts about herself with you as she wraps up. <laughs> but she's going to share with you how, first of all, you can stay connected with her. She's got an amazing project that she's working on that I'll let her tell you about. Go ahead. Thank Close you. Thank you. Okay. So you can get in touch with me by going directly to my website, which is coachlizette.com. You can also find me on Instagram as the lupus coach. You can find me on threads as um, the lupus coach. Where else? Uh, Facebook. X. Twitter. <laughs> I'm, I'm on, yes, the Lupus Coach. And you can find me on Facebook um, under my name, Lizette Santa Maria. And um, the project that I have coming up that Ursula kindly mentioned is I'm hosting a healing retreat in Bali for 2024. The dates are April 29th to May 4th. And we are going to Bali to really work on our spiritual well being our healing journey, just getting connected and grounded with other like-minded women and sharing that energetic exchange Thanks. and space um, is just a beautiful thing. And I will be there to facilitate with energy healing, also with yoga. We have some fun excursions planned and I really hope that you join us. All the information for the retreat will be on all of my social media outlets that you can go check out. And I do want to mention, I also offer um, virtual yoga classes where you can do yoga through a virtual yoga studio. I teach on Mondays at 6 p.m. if you want to join live. And if you can't make it, then you can go back and your subscription allows you to watch the playback so you can practice yoga 
in your own time, own space. And I also upload some really good playlists for you to listen to while you're doing your yoga practice. So that's right. Check and that she's out. a physical trainer. She left that out. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I do that as well. <laughs> so listen, this is a queen of all traits here right as it relates you, queen. to your mental health, well-being, growing, healing. And uh, Lizette is an amazing coach. I'm blessed to be friends with this amazing woman. Oh. I hope you guys you. literally connect with Lizette um, as you embark on your journey. Or let's just say you, you've been on your journey, you kind of put it down. Um, she talked a lot about prioritizing. So pick it back up. Get back into you and, and contact Lizette. So with all of that, I hope you enjoyed our guest today. I want to say thank you for tuning in. I encourage you to share Blossom and Bloom with Ursula Walker with your community, with your network of women. We are here on this platform to serve women, talk about the things that matter to all of us. I love you. Thanks for tuning in and have an amazing Sunday. We'll see you next week. Bye.